Ready. And they're off, racing away five furlongs for the bad MGM Rouse Stakes and breaking out well, Democracy Dilemma. This real five furlong specialist in the pink and green shows by the early length and a half margin to Beautiful Diamond who goes along in second, the red and green for Go Atletico in third. The light blue and yellow in fourth is Rumstar, two lengths further away to Relief Rally and with her at the back is Mia Harris. They'll soon be up towards halfway, blazing the trail, Democracy Dilemma shows by a length and a half to Beautiful Diamond in second. Go Atletico is pushed along, sharing out third with Rumstar. Behind those Relief Rally and then came Mia Harris. Harris. They're racing their way inside the final furlong and a half. Democracy Dilemma has now been headed by Beautiful Diamond. Here comes Rumstar in the light blue and Rumstar has now picked it up from Beautiful Diamond. Mia Harris trying to run on then K Relief Rally inside the final half. It's Rumstar by a good couple of lengths out of Beautiful Diamond and Rumstar will win the Rouse Stakes. Rumstar the winner from Beautiful Diamond in second back in third Mia Harris. Then came Relief Rally, well clear from Go Atletico and Democracy Dilemma. And they're off. Racing away, it's a mile and a half in front of them for the Bet MGM at Cumberland Lodge at Stakes. This race, of course, at Group 3 level. Last year's winner, Al Karim, out there handily early on with the noseband. Chased though on the inside by Peking Opera perhaps just about has the head in front. These two go on by about a length or so to the pink-jacketed Lafayette, who sits in third position. Then gather ye rosebuds, followed more toward the inside by the lighter blue. The cheek pieces, that's God's window under Safi Osborne. Wider out is Salt Bay and Hector Crouch, and Al Arzi is a beaten favourite in this race last year. Now the man of Kieran Fallon tucks in at the rear of the field. On they go towards the final mile. Al Kareem towards the outside of Big Outsider Peking Opera toward the inner under Tom Queeley. Two lengths away then to Lafayette and David Egan who show in third. And then Gather Ye Rosebuds and Jamie Spencer in fourth position. Then came God's Window, Salt Bay second to last. And then they held up Al Arzi as they race around Swindley Bottom and head towards the final six and a half furlong shortly. Al Kareem, last year's winner, now goes on. And by a clear margin as well as they turn to go down the side from Peking Opera, who's racing there in second place. That one in turn then, clear from Lafayette back in third. Gather Ye Rosebuds is in fourth. Another half away to God's Window, racing to the inside. Length and a half back to Salt Bay. No move yet from Al Arsi as Al Karim up top has gone further clear. Racing towards the final four furlongs now. And it's Al Karim out on his own by about four to five lengths to Peking Opera racing in second. Lafayette's back in third. God's Window racing to the inside of Gather Ye Rosebuds. Al Arsi trying to move up to the inside of Salt Bay just before the turn towards home. But it's Al Karim under Clifford Lee who are clear at the moment by about three and a half lengths. So Irish Raider Lafayette in the pink is now giving chase. He in turn then clear by about four lengths to God's Window back in third. Then Gather Ye Rosebuds. Al Arsi is trying to creep closer. Still a bit of work on from there. Racing now down towards the final quarter of a mile. It's Al Karim ridden out in front is still ahead by about two and a half lengths to Lafayette Al Arsi is up into third place now God's Window is in fourth racing towards the final furlong it's still Al Kareem with the lead Lafayette trying hard stand side Al Arsi started to get going very late in the piece but surely won't get to Al Kareem who heads up towards the line to win the Cumberland Lodge for the second year running Al Kareem the winner Al Arsi are never near a second Lafayette was back in third then came God's Window clear from Gather Ye Rosebuds and Salt Bay. All in. They're off, racing into stride in this Group 3. John Guest Racing, Ben Goff Stakes are over the six furlongs. The filly a day in Devon in green and white colours will lead. After the end of the opening furlong, Wiltshire Racing quite keenly in the pink silks is next. Apollo 1 a little wider out, the yellow colours there. Jaraf now just in behind the leaders there with chasing a day in Devon at the moment. A Pura Sangue leads the next wave with Corker in behind Pura Sangue. Vardreen's behind that runner, out wider is Russell. 
classic gold in the blue and white and English oak is the back marker and they'll soon be up towards halfway. A day in Devon by a half a length over Giraffe. It's only a half a length and away to Apollo 1 toward the outer. Wiltshire is handy in fourth. Empura Sangue, Vardream and Russet Goal. Corker is second to last. English Oak will have to try and get by them all. Inside the final quarter of a mile and it's a day in Devon. He's now ridden and passed by Apollo 1. Jaroff has now been shaken up in the yellow. Vardream the purple sleeves trying to move into it. Then Russet Goal. Pura Sangue is hard at it. So too Corker as they run in towards the final half of Furlong now. It is Apollo 1 from Jaroff. Then Vardreen, Russet, Golden, Corker. It's Apollo 1 by a length or so. And Apollo 1 has won the Bengoff Stakes. From Jaroff in home in second, Russet, Gold in third. Then Vardreen followed by Corker. And uh, they're off, racing away. Seven furlongs in front of them for the Bet MGM at Challenge Cup. Volterra broke well over toward the far side. More near side is Golden Mine, then Germanic and Two Tempting and Popmaster. Followed closely in them by Rebel Territory in the dark blue and white spotted silks. Then came United Approach and Star of Orion and Ross Collin. Mursky's behind those with Fresh and Kirat. Bo Pedro back through them somewhat with Acadian Thunder. Then came Brewing and Divine Libra. Streets of Gold and Carry the one of the back two as they raced out towards the final four furlongs. It is Volterra and Shane Gray from Germanic and Too Tempting in the gold and blue. Close up then is Golden Mine. Star of Orion toward the far side between horses. Rebel Territory then the Grey Popmaster. United Approach and Fresh over toward the far side, then Ross Collin in the black and orange. Bo Pedro worse than midfield, the pink cap of Kirat some way back through them. Then Mursky, Acadian Thunder, Divine Libra, ridden for more is brewing, then Streets of Gold and Carry the one is last of all. Just over two furlongs to go now, and in the yellow, Volterra continues to show the way from Too Tempting and Star of Orion. Fresh in the grey jacket, trying to challenge Germanic, Stewart half a squeak in the dark blue, but it's still Volterra. Volterra kicks for home now inside the final furlong, and has gone through Three or four lengths clear from Fresh and Too Tempting. Kirat is absolutely flying home with Bo Pedro, but Volterra has gone beyond recall to win the Bet MGM Challenge Cup. Volterra easily. Very tight second, Kirat and Bo Pedro. Fresh in behind those with Mursky and carry the one. Then star of Orion and Acadian Thunder. Ready to go. And they're off. Racing to stride. It was a very poor beginning from Ornalea there from stall number one for the listed McGee Group British EBF October stakes over the seven furlongs and they've broken into two groups. More towards the stand side, the red cap with the noseband flying fin leading over there from Mystic Pearl, the dark blue of the yellow spots. They've been tracked by American Arrow and Queen of Mugan. Behind Queen of Mugan is Elim and the back mark of the stand side group is Embrace. More towards the far side of the orange is Rajindri together with the grey Sunfall and with those are Hopeful and Sky Safari. Not far behind that group is Queen Train and Key to Kota in the black and white. And then Ornalea, who's made up the ground she lost at the start. They're racing their way up the home straight inside the final three and a half furlongs and through halfway. It's the grey Sunfall that has the narrow call at the moment from the ridden along flying fin. Then came Mystic Pearl Rajindri. Hopeful travels well at this point. The maroon silks away toward the left hand side. American Arrows now ridden for more. Rajindri trying to pick up the tempo. And then came Sky Safari. Ornale is trying to play late on as they head now down inside the final furlong and a half. And it's Sunfall under Kieran Fallon that leads the way. Queen of Mugans improving there. The pink cap and nearly on terms now. Elim staying on well towards the stand side as well. And came American Arrow. Queen of Mugan taking on Sunfall. Elim is still running on. Queen of Mugan and Sunfall. They're battling out toward the line. Not much in this. Sunfall came back for more. Sunfall has won the October stakes. Battle back to win it from Queen of Mugan. Then came Elim in third, followed by Rajindri, American Arrow, and Hopeful. Three. Set to race. And they're off.
away from the five furlong starting point for the Berkshire Healthcare Charity Handicap Stakes with the noseband, the Green Silks Venture Capital is one of the first ones to show together with Jacqueline the Black Silks there, the Red Armlets. Faustus is right up in that leading wave of the cheap piece is on and Faustus now goes on from Venture Capital and Jacqueline then Fantasy Master with a plenty of red sheeps get about the face from Alcazan and the Black and the Yellow. Then the light green of JM Jungle further back then to find Vintage Clarets. Then came the push along Wallhampton. Haymaker, the yellow and red. Cachetan is outpaced and then Badri last year's winner who has Dream Composer behind. They're inside the final two furlongs. Faustus with the lead from Venture Capital more towards the near side. Alcazan black and yellow ridden for more. Coming into it far side Vintage Clarets and Fantasy Master and JM Jungle. Inside the final furlong Alcazan has burst through to lead now from Vintage Clarets, Fantasy Master and Venture Capital on the run towards the line. It's Alcazan under Haley Turner. She'll come home in front. It's Alcazan to win. Vintage Clarets in second, Venture Capital third, then Fantasy Master and JM Jungle clear from Wallhampton and Badry.